2K Sports pregame show. Hey folks, thanks for joining us. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny Smith is here. Shaquille O'Neal. Big guy right there. Wow. Oh. <laughs> and our coverage tonight will be coming to you from Sacramento, where the Kings will be going up against the New York Knicks. For New York, they're at the very bottom of the barrel of the Eastern Conference standings. What a struggle it's been for them. Anytime things have started to look up, something else has gone wrong. So tonight, two inexperienced teams facing off. Shaq, if you were coaching a young club, what advice would you give? Well, you got to play within yourselves. And if you make a mistake, don't let it get in your head. You just got to keep playing. Wouldn't you also say, hey, get the ball to Shaq? I would definitely say that. Well, if he was on a young team with Shaq, I would say the same thing. But if you don't have a guy named Shaq, you just play with a great deal of energy, and that, can la that could make up for the lack of experience. So, you know, being young can benefit you in that way, and you can have some advantages that experienced guys don't have. Would you like to play for Shaq if Shaq was your, uh, a coach? As a coach? I would like to play with Shaq as a young Shaq. No, if he's the coach. No, I didn't. Would no. you like to play for Shaq? I'd like to play with Shaq as a young Shaq. He doesn't want to play that. for you if you're coaching. Because they don't know my coaching style. What is your coaching style? They call me Pat Jackson. A, a combination so of the team with Pat Riley and Phil, Phil Jackson. Jackson. Well, that means you're going to practice me hard, and we're going to win a lot. I want to play for Pat Jackson. I just decided. Not me. Let's get to Kevin Harlan. Here comes the opening tip. The dome of the California Capitol building lit up dramatically here at our broadcast location in Sacramento. We are in Sacramento, California, home for the Kings in an interconference basketball game here. Glad to have you with us for more NBA action. Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Harlan with Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. The next swing into this game is part of their continuing road trip. They're facing a lot of challenges, fellas, in this upcoming part of the schedule. They're faced with a lot of tough battles away from home. Kevin, I tell you what, they've got a tough stretch of games in front of them. A lot of them on the road. That's going to make it really challenging moving forward. Here at the end of the season, players fighting through fatigue. Chris, is there anything else the league can do to help keep guys staying fresh and, and healthy? Well, Kev, I'm a little old school in this. I mean, uh, you wake up and you go to work. That, that's about it. If you're not hurt, you, you just play. Uh, think about this. When Will Chamberlain and those guys were playing in, in shoes that were made of cloth and they didn't have any tape, and they were riding on planes, not in first class. Right. And travel right. was worse. And they still had 82 games. What are we talking about? Yeah, the guys are okay. It's okay. Everybody's all right. It's, they'll live. I, I don't. I think right now we're babying them too much anyway, trying to give more time off. It's it's okay. I mean, that's one thing that we can say is consistent. There's always been 82 games. And if anything, players before this generation has let less rest. So I don't look at it as uh, they need more rest. I look at it like. Man, toughen up, let's go and, and, and play some games and see what happens. And now the New York Knicks starters. Hezonia is up there with Knox. Then there's DeAndre Jordan. Then it's Smith. And it's Dotson in at the two spot. Here's Dotson following the basket by Buddy Heel. First quarter just over a minute played. Passes it to Knox. Six to shoot and stolen by Barnes. Here's healed. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, it's obvious that Heald is a talented player. Whether he takes that next leap to start him, that's up to him. Think about Heald. I mean, uh, wow, the college player of the year, his senior season at Oklahoma. Look, he made dramatic improvement over his college career. And he's done the same thing here in the pros.
first one falls for him. And healed Chris is uh, shooting well over 40% from three-point range the last couple seasons. Uh, think about this. He's crept into the top 20 all-time in career percentage. That alone will keep him in the league for a long time. And his overall game, it's only getting better. So he gets them both. And as great of a free throw shooter as he is, it's still a part of his game. He works very hard at it. Here's Smith. They get it back. The three. That's a miss, his second after two shots. Kings have gone two or three here to start out the game. And that one's good, Barnes. Nice job to get to the rack before the D could get any help in the post. The Knicks have gone just one of four to get this game started. Jordan dishes to Smith. Smith drawn the double team to the inside. Knox, a great one-two punch. Beautiful pass and nasty jam. Uh, willing to work the ball to his open teammate, Smith Jr. This is what leaders do best. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. New York called for the foul. Sacramento shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Two shots. That one is off. And the second free throw, good. Even as the team rebuilds, business booming for the Kings, Chris, ticket sales, sponsorships, you name it. Well, the fans are doing their part to make this team a winner. You can bet that. And, guys, this is what you like to see early on, gaining a little confidence from Rain. Well, I wouldn't say that's his shot, but, but it's a shot he can make, and that really opens things up for the offense. Here's Smith. Harrison Barnes picking up that last basket. Smith with it, now guarded by Fox. And he throws it down hard with one hand. And a sturdy screen set for him that time. And he doesn't fool around just straight to the rim for the finish. No way for his man to get around that one. That's, that's for sure. And that's a play they'll run over and over, fellas, as long as it keeps working. Now here is Smith. Second chance shot. And Hazania gets it to go. It's all knotted up. And look at that. That's just a great all-around play. Getting into position for the offensive rebound. Finishing strong on the putback. That one goes in. Collie Stein's got his first two points. Uh, and it's important for Collie Stein's confidence that he gets these interior shots to fall. The more he sees the ball go in, the more assured he will feel down inside. That's good from Fox on the assist by Heal. And a good example there of why it's important to change ends quickly. Yeah, talent in this league has it so that now pretty much every team can push the pace. You have to get back on defense. Here's Knox. He's got seven. And it's Smith missing. It's time for him to start looking for other options. They can't let him keep shooting. But his touch is gone. And that one's good, Barnes. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Well, you like to see a little more physical nature on defense. You have to make him earn those points at the strike. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Here's Knox. That shot off. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. And that was a stinker. I mean, that's one of those games where you really can't find anything that they did well. The game just got out of hand and really just a shaky performance across the board. Man, only surprise is that the margin wasn't greater. I mean, somehow they managed to hang around despite their lack of effort, Greg. 
And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Well, Greg, in Willie Cauley-Stein, a live wire seven-footer. I mean, he's got great foot speed for his size. I, I just like to see him really become more aggressive offensively and, and try to improve that skill set. But his mobility is so desirable in today's game. chance guys to examine the rebounding numbers over the past months for Vonley. And those are some numbers that he can't be happy about. His rebounding totals have taken a dip over the past few months. He's got to get back to giving the kind of effort on the boards we were seeing from him earlier. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And that's what Jordan does best. An extremely lethal dunker. Barnes. In the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Here's Knox. And a miss there on the triple. Well, it's a confidence shaker when you can't hit a wide open three like that. Baseline J on the way. Again, Sacramento. Starting to surge here, and we're only in the first quarter. And it's happening at both ends, trying to end this thing before it begins. Here's Dotson. No points in the game yet for him. That one good for two. He's giving them a nice lift this quarter. The shots are falling for him. And here are the Kings now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Healed with the bucket. And from the opening tip, they just crushed it. Yeah, You see it now on the scoreboard. Yeah, particularly on offense where they've been completely in sync. Terrific first quarter. Here's Smith following the basket by Buddy Heal. With some arc, he lays it in. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. The drive by Barnes. And it's Barnes slamming it down. In this first period, they've been aggressive and extremely focused. Well, that's put them up by double digits, trying to run away with this one wire to wire. And so it's Smith with it. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Trailing by 10. This game against Sacramento. Ooh! <laughs> that's how you attack. Wow! Attack the real baby. <laughs> <laughs> Move out the way. And a great second look there. Another Unleash Chaos replay. Brought to you by the Under Armour Hover Havoc. And it's Fox with the jam. Methodical in their approach. They have absolutely owned this first quarter. Well, I love how they've done it. They built this huge lead with points in the paint. Dominated physically. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, I had a chance to talk with head coach David Fisdale. He told me he's looking forward to the matchup tonight. It's their first time against this team, so he is curious to see what his guys do on offense. He said it's important that we're aggressive defensively, that we use our length and shot blocking as a deterrent inside. We'll see if they can be successful tonight. Kevin, back to you. Thanks for the report, David. So their focus, guys, is going to be on defense right away. And that's always a good philosophy. Don't, don't let an opponent get settled. Try to take them out of their game early. Well, you know what, guys? One of the things that stand out to me is how well their team communicates on defense. I mean, they function as a unit. That's why defense is a weapon for them. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, but at the same time, you know if he can just break through this cold streak, he can give you what you need. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. Chris, do you think hustle is a skill? And if and if you do, or want to even tackle that, who are some of the guys that you think hustle is as much as any players in the league? Not only is hustle a skill, but your motor and hustle is the most underrated skill in basketball, I believe. Think about Draymond Green's impact in both. Yes. What he's done for that team. How about a Patrick Beverly, a Marcus Smart, a Kawhi Leonard? 
And these guys definitely change the pace of the game, especially in the playoffs where every possession matters and the fans are, are hung on every movement that you do. The fans are waiting and anticipating every play and all they want is someone to do something so they can get up and get excited. Well, nothing gets a crowd more excited than diving on the floor, saving the possession for your team. You're getting a layup on the other end and these are the guys I would bet first that would make a play like that happen. A skill indeed. Good point. Big group substitution here for Sacramento. Harry Giles is checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Biel Itza comes in for Bagley. Alec Burks checked in for Harrison Barnes. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Buddy Heald. New York moving the ball around. Cornette, and that one is stuffed right through. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Vanek shooting their first free throw of the game right now. And really, they haven't been able to differentiate themselves from the free throw line on the season at about 76%. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. Every once in a while, we hear about the brotherhood of the NBA. See, Webb, when you hear that term... What does it mean to you? It means it's the truth. When I got to the NBA as a rookie, the thing that amazed me the most was that I was already part of a fraternity. There was no having to, <laughs> to, to be um, kind of welcomed in. You are welcomed in once you're part of the NBA. Guys want to see you do well. Right. Not against them, not against their team, but guys want to see you do well because they know the work, the effort, the sacrifice that it takes to get to this level. And that's a really refreshing feeling, knowing the guys got your best interest as long as it isn't against them that night. Great perspective on that topic. Moutier with the basket. Three. Sacramento leading by 15. Good once again. That makes him eight for nine this game. Yeah, off to a strong start here early. Six points off second chance buckets. Pass to Trier. Takes the 13 footer. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Oh, and here we go. Knox has got it. The fast break chance. The feed to Moutier. Knocked loose. Fox with a steal. And now it's Giles running. He can go all the way. Rips down the breakaway slam. And that's how you make a steal count. Turn it into a quick slam at the other end. It was really a case. It looked like Greg Anthony right there, if I, <laughs> if I can say so. It was really a case of a great defensive play triggering some instant mm -hmm. offense. Well, well, fellas, that's just like it's supposed to work. Don't give the D a chance to set up. Knox misses. I tell you what, the defense should send Christmas cards for that miss. Here's Burks. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And even three-on-three -three break. And Aaron Fox gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. Right side Robinson. There's the pass to Knox. And, and trailing here in the first, you'd like to see them be a little more aggressive on the offensive glass. Trains the three-pointer. Knox has got 15. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. And Fox gets it to go. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And the shot goes down. He's wrapped up his game in a big way this quarter. I don't think he likes it when they're trailing. Cross contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. He has them reeling. They haven't had an answer for him this quarter. And you talk about that quick twitch athletes have. Darren Fox is a blur in the lane. Chris definitely an attack guard. Oh, yeah, and it's not just his quickness, Kevin. I mean, it's his mentality, his aggressiveness. He's very competitive. He wants to impose his will on the game, and I love that. Monlays check in for the Knicks. Shooting. 
We throw good. Fox. Deer and Fox, see Webb, with a very slender build. Does, does that concern you at all? Not at all. I love his wiry strength. It holds up the contact better than you might think. Plus his speed beats strength any day. He's got to stay in the weight room, though. He knows it. Burks in the corner. Tries again, and he lays it up and in. Yeah. Burks has got his first bucket of the night. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Moutier, pass to Knox. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Another one. Man, he's just gotten into a great rhythm out there. Part of this falls on the defense. I mean, you know he's hot. You'd like to force someone else to shoot the basketball. Pass to Cornett. 105 left here in the opening quarter. Moutier, no good. Kings leading now by 16. From outside the arc, Fox, no good. And so it's Moutier with it. He'll bring it up for the Knicks. Wide open look. Bogdanovich grabs the miss. Whoa, the D caught a break on that play. I'm sure that is not the plan, leaving him so wide open. Good on the bucket. Already, they piled up eight second chance points. Knicks trail by 18. To the left side wing. No one near Moutier as he lets it go. No good on the three. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Got that bucket in in no time at all. And it's now 26 points for De'Aaron Fox. New York with the ball. Seventeen seconds left to play here in the first. Moutier looking around. And the Knicks miss again. Takes a shot at the elbow. We're at the end of the first quarter. And what a blowout already in this one. Kings ahead. Running away with this one. Live from Golden One Center. You're watching 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And quite a position here for the Kings to be in. What do you guys think? I mean, a huge lead, and already after this first quarter, they're starting to make it look easy. I love it. They have the track shoes on. Right off the tip, they were in full attack mode. This offense is really churning. Kings leading now by 21. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for Sacramento. Fox and Bogdanovich pair up at the one and the two. Bialica is out there with Alec Burks. And it's Giles in at the five down low. Shot from 12. Two points. That one goes. Moutier's got seven. Great work to find the space to get off the open jump. He's going to work hard for those. Burks' shot is good. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. New York's gotten a lot of looks from outside tonight. 5 of 12. Allen, the basket good off the assist from Moutier. Moutier's got four assists now tonight. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. So the Kings call timeout. They're first. Last season, they were trying to speed up the game, C-Web. Teams were given fewer timeouts. Do you think they achieved that goal? Well, yeah, the new rules, 18 to 14 total timeouts. No more 20-second timeouts. All quarters have two mandatories. I think it does help speed up. And these are the greatest coaches in the world. They can adjust. They just need to know what the rules are. And I love the fast pace, the fast pitch count. Let's make sure that we keep the game in a way that fans love it and we're not leaving any time out there on the floor. I think the coaches have made a great adjustment to it and, and look, play on the East Coast is always going to be a little bit slower, a little bit more methodical than the West, but I tell you what, it seems like it's speeded up the game on both sides and, and that's something great for us fans. Well said. A 
Let's quickly take a look at the standings out east. The season nearly complete. Taking a look at Milwaukee. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, the Knicks right now quite a ways down below. And seeing where the Knicks are, they haven't made any of the strides they were hoping to see prior to the season. Again, hanging around at the bottom of the standings. The talent's not there. They're great. Plain and simple. You can't fault their effort, but they just don't have the roster to compete with the big boys. Their stroke has not been what they needed it to be, but looks like they're going to keep going to them. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. And Moutier throws it down. And, and folks, those are hops <laughs> you just don't see from that one spot every day. Well, that, that's why he is such an uncommon talent. Fellas, isn't that why you like to have a great point guard who can make a play above the rim like that? And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. They get a hand on it. And now Sacramento on the break. Here's Fox. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. Next up, they'll face the Suns. That'll be in Phoenix. That'll be the last game of their very short three-game road tour. And really just led him to his sweet spot for that finish. And a terrific percentage here in the first half. You, you got to love their rhythm and the flow with which they're playing. Well, it's the shot selection. That's been a positive for them thus far and a negative for their opponent. Feeds it to Vonley. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Moutier's got six assists now in the game. Bielitsa with the bucket. Bielitsa's got four this quarter. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, the Kings signed some quality vets last season, but when the losses piled up, they decided to go young. Now, the focus is on development. The veterans still have a role, providing steadying presence on the court and in the locker room. Kevin? David, it certainly is a balancing act. Thanks for that report. Yeah, he, he's got to make some adjustments here. Just too easy to score in the lane against them right now. Well, well, I think the first thing they need to talk about are the rotations. There's a lot of miscommunication out there. will go for a different look here. Carly Stein, he's checked in for Giles. Bagley comes in for Bielitsa. Harrison Barnes, he's checked in for Alec Burks. And it's Buddy Heald in for Bogdan Bogdanovich. Smith drawn the double team. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Sacramento with the ball. Here's Barnes, and it's Barnes slamming it down. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Here's Dotson. 17 points for him last game against the Clippers. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Oh, great ball movement there. New York's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Pass to Allen. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. The Kings shooting the lights out in this one, 77%. Here's Fox. No good that time. 
and New York will come the other way. Allen finds Smith. That's his first basket of the game. One for six and looking for more. He's yes, getting more comfortable shooting from inside. Even though Smith Jr. is smaller, he knows how to score in the paint. Healed with the bucket. The Knicks have gone seven of nine in their field goal attempts here in the second quarter. Pretty good offense. Pass to Smith. Unloads. Here's Jordan. Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. One thing never changes in the NBA. Jordan will always be there among the top offensive rebounders in the league. Fires from the wing. The shot by Coley Stein. No good. And low percentage look on that one. Not sure what he was thinking. Sometimes you get a little outside of yourself. You have to be a little more disciplined. Jordan against Coley Stein. Jordan, the pass to Dotson. And the dunk by Jordan. And, and guys, that's his game. I mean, battling in the paint and, and cashing in on those second chance opportunities. And Greg cashing in hard. I mean, man, oh man, he puts an <laughs> exclamation point on that dunk. Yes. And, and, and anybody can get a run of the mill put back, but he makes them count. Oh man, such an athletic seven footer. Willie Cauley Stein. Now look, he's improving his game. He fits that prototype of a mobile shot blocker who finishes around the rim. And that one, good. Moving it around, eight of their last ten coming off assists. And there's the pass to Allen. Here's Dotson, covered by Heal. Dotson can't hit. And Chris, for Cauley Stein, just how good you think he can become? I think he can become very good. He's got to show more improvement offensively, but that just takes work over the summer. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. Here's Jordan and the rejection by Cauley Stein. And shooters beware. Cauley Stein is very crafty at how he rises up to the block. So good at catching scores off guard with his wide reach. And Fox gets it to go. Well, this is a different ball game without his scoring. He's been Mr. Reliable at the offensive end. For three, Smith. It's hauled in by the Kings. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Healed with the bucket. And when it rains, it pours. Another jump shot tickles the twine. Pass to Vonley. Looking for Allen and gets it there. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. Allen's got six. He's finally coming around, trying to make up for that goose egg he put up in the first quarter. And good that time. He's been in control here tonight, helping them get in front with his work from the field. And so Allen will bring it up for the Knicks. Passes it to Smith. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Smith's got four points this quarter. And whether he's stepping back or spotting up, Smith Jr. is a threat to score, especially from the mid-range. Buddy Heald grew up in a tough area in the Bahamas. Didn't have a lot of things the rest of us all take for granted. Yeah, he slept in a room with all six of his ceilings. At the crack of dawn, he tiptoe over them. I mean, think about this. To make sure he got to school on time, he had to be the first in his kitchen to boil water for his bath. I mean, what a story. Shows you where he came from, but also shows you what he's about. And he makes the first. So for the Knicks, Robinson's checked in for Noah Vonley. And it's Hazania in for Allen. That one falls, so he hits both of them. New York's gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Lobs it up for Jordan, and DeAndre Jordan throws it down. And any lob to Jordan is as about a sure thing as you can get. So athletic for a big with tremendous hands, and big fella knows how to get in prime position for those alley-oop feeds. 
He swipes the ball away again. And that's his sixth steal of the night. Imposing his will at the defensive end. Here's Barnes, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Yeah, the defender all over. Two. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Barnes. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Knox, he's checked in for New York. Barnes hits them both. Here's Dotson. He gives the team some steady offense, a bit under 10 points a game. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Here's a chance now to check out the New York Knicks' upcoming schedule. On Wednesday, they continue the road trip, heading out to Phoenix to take on the Suns. And then on Saturday, they'll tip off a homestand starting with the Sacramento Kings. And Kevin, things could get ugly for this team during this road stretch. They just haven't had the same focus nor execution that we've seen from them when they're at home. An even three-on-three three break. This one for three. Knox misses. Coley Stein in the post. Robinson on him. And Coley Stein throws it down. Oh, and the athleticism of Coley Stein on the drive is really outstanding. Not many players are equipped to try to stop him given his insane length. Robinson passes to Dotson. And that's good. Robinson picking up the assists. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. Here's Barnes. And again, it's Sacramento converting. In the mid-range, rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. New York's got nothing but zeros from long range in the second quarter. 0 of 4. A three-pointer is right on target. Lasagna's got five. I don't think they were expecting that shot. They didn't really make an effort to get out on it. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Yeah, just hitting the reset button, a chance to kind of talk some things over. And the chance to draw up a great play. I mean, this is a chess match at work. He's checked in for Sacramento. Let's use this break in the action to show you the teams that in the last 10 games have been the NBA's best fast break teams. Number one, the Kings. I mean, no doubt for me that they, they've hit their stride the last few weeks. I mean, they are punishing the defenses with that up-tempo style. Here's Heald. Hits some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Heald's got eight here in the quarter. New York's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Out to the right wing. A three-pointer, no good. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Defensive foul. For Sacramento, they have knocked down eight of nine free throw attempts. I'd say those numbers read pretty well. 
And as a team, they're down around 72% for the season. And the Knicks making a change here. Moutier has checked in. One shot behind the lanes. Three-point play. And it's Moutier with the ball. He brings it up for the New York Knicks. The dish to Smith. Robinson kicks to Smith. Smith drawn the double team. Pass to Knox. Six on the shot clock. Here's Moutier. No good from outside. He had one three-pointer in the first, but still searching for that second. Some nice ball movement here by the Kings. Barnes. Robinson pulls it in. The Knicks shooting in the second quarter has been superb. 58% from the field. Moutier finds Robinson. Here's Knox for the three. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Smith's got assist number five here tonight. And, and no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. Oh, no doubt that Buddy Hill can shoot with the best of. But it's encouraging watching him share the wealth as well. The Knicks shooting 53% from the floor. They're locked in. To the middle. Here's Azania. Back to Smith. It's Herzonia in the corner from the arc. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Well, if you thought the D was going to tighten up on them here in the second quarter, think again. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks will take it the other way. And let's take a look now at the stats for Bogdanovich. He's had an impressive second half of the season. He's putting up about 14 points a night, four assists, and five rebounds. And, guys, he's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. Well, yeah, lately he's been overachieving a little bit. Hopefully this is a sign of greater things to come. And it's good off the back rim and in. And that's now six points for Smith. And I like seeing Smith Jr. being assertive on offense. When he does this, it often results in points. 110 left here in the second. Looking at the Knicks, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Clippers. Inside, here's Azania, and he uses the glass on the layup. Azania's got 10 points in the game. It's his shooting that's kept them out of an even deeper hole. Barnes can't get it to go. That's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Here's Moutier. And a miss there on the triple. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Count that bucket. Something lit a fire under him this quarter. Their lead safe as long as he's on the floor. Now Smith. Six points for him. Out of bounds. Next ball as New York keeps possession of it. Some changes for Sacramento. Harry Giles is checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Biel Itza comes in for Bagley. And Alec Burks subbed in for Harrison Barnes. And then for New York, Cornette's checked in, and it's Trier in for Smith. Moutier dishes to Robinson. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Moutier's got assist number eight now on the night. Here's Giles. Robinson with the block. Trier passes to Robinson. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Robinson's got four points in the quarter. And you're not going to pass up that kind of look. Here's Heald. That one off the back iron and out. He may have missed it, but that's a clean look at the basket. So as we conclude the first half, so far fairly one-sided. It's Sacramento delivering the blowout. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Harrison, a big first half for you offensively. How did you get loose? Uh, my teammates just been finding me. I've just been trying to just uh, run hard, you know, make good backdoor cuts, run it in transition, and they've been giving me good looks. You have not stopped moving at all, and it's led to good results. Thanks, Harrison. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. It's Sacramento with the advantage at the half. They are completely in control of the game, leading by a massive amount. Kenny? There's been one thing that's made a difference in this game above all else, their control of the backboard. They put forth an amazing effort on the glass, and the rebounding numbers aren't even close, Ernie. That'll be something to keep an eye on in the second half. They will be very tough to contain if that continues. Shaq, what did you think about New York? Way too soft in the paint defensively. They were all late on their rotations. Obviously, that's a recipe for getting cooked. And you know, I like eating that barbecue chicken. They got to do better, Ernie. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. A nighttime glimpse of the Tower Bridge, one of the landmarks here in Sacramento. Welcome back, everyone, to the capital of California. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. It's been one outstanding game from De'Aaron Fox. And through the first two periods, it seemed he got to the paint whenever he wanted to. Just a slasher's mentality. Yeah, when you're trying to check a guy like that, you have to move your feet laterally, defensively. That didn't happen. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Tipping off the second half, here's David Fisdale's five. Knocks out there with Robinson. Then it's Smith, then it's Jordan, and it's Dotson in at the two. Robinson kicks to Smith. Just five on the clock. And the pass to Dotson. And Willie Cauley-Stein gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. As Anya, he's checked in for Robinson. Substitution for the next. Poked away and stolen by Coley Stein. Here's Barnes. Lays it up and banks it in. Barnes has got 29 in the game. And it's about the tempo, guys. It favors them. And just look at that score. Well, that's where they have the advantage tonight. They're just a better team in transition. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. Hey, he's got to be better in those situations. I love to hear his explanation of coach right there. I mean, that should be an interesting conversation. How's that for a start? Good on all three attempts so far in the second half. You know, when Marvin Bagley entered the league, there were some questions as to which position would he play. But the versatility he brings is special. It can guard a number of positions, score inside and out, and he is a tremendous rebounder. And the rebounding has been key to their success here tonight. Yeah, I mean, uh, they established a physical edge in this game, and it's led to a big edge on the scoreboard, too. And still perfect in the second half. Four straight makes. And one thing you can't question about Bagley, Greg, his intensity level. As competitive as they come, uh, he's ferocious around the rim. Oftentimes, he looks like he wants it more than anybody else on the floor. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. Smith with a wide open look. Bagley with the rebound. Bagley's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. They haven't gotten their legs back. Just one for four to start the second half. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Only one for five to start the half. I mean, whatever adjustments they made at halftime weren't the right ones. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. Kicks it to Smith. Fox with a steal. Barnes outside. Knocked away. Here's Heald. 
Rebounded by Knox. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Well, I like the decision making, though. I mean, that's a shot you want to keep taking. A work in progress, for sure. But I like how Smith Jr. still keeps taking those deep shots. Barnes left side. It's blocked. Here's Knox, covered by Barnes. The three ball. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Bagley's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. That one good for two. And that's now 35 points for Harrison Barnes. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. Here's Jordan. No good on that one. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. Here's Barnes. And there are the Kings with another bucket. Nice pass here to set that basket up. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Down low. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Now those passes into the paint have to be precise. Just like that one. It's good. Barnes has got 12 points in just the second half. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. Smith with it. Now guarded by Fox. Smith finds Jordan. And Willie Cauley-Stein gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. Lonley's check in for New York. Allen comes in for Dennis Smith. Substitution for the Knicks. Noah Barnley. Kadeem Allen. Here's Azania. Ten points for him. Allen shot is off. I don't care who it is. You can't leave him wide open from that range. Here's Fox. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Azania's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Pass to Allen. From downtown, they grab their own miss. Here's Jordan. And they had their chances, two offensive rebounds, but they still come up empty. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Evolving right before our eyes. When Fox puts it all together, so fun to watch. Allen passes to Von Lee. And Barnes comes to help. Back to Allen. Rebound by the Kings. It's been a really tough quarter for him. I mean, he cannot get his shots to drop. Barnes can't get it to go. New York's gone into a slump here from three-point range, shooting just one of five here in the third. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Barnes has got 41. And you can see now they're starting to push the tempo to good effect. Passes it to Jordan. It's stolen by Begley. Here's Fox. And he banks in the layup. Fox has got 40 points. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Fox with a steal. Now here's Barnes. Tight defense on him. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Foul. Mario Huzonia. For Sacramento, they have gone 9 of 10 from the line, so making the most of their chances. A big group substitution here for Sacramento. Giles checked in for Willie Cauley-Stein. Bialica comes in for Bagley. Bogdan Bogdanovich, he's checked in for Heald. And it's Burks and Ford, De'Aaron Fox. Trier, he's checked in for the Knicks. And so Allen will bring it up for the New York Knicks. Pass to Trier. Hazonia with the ball. Ten points for him. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Knicks will retain possession. And here is the shot chart as we see how things are going for Barnes. 
And this is the kind of performance that everyone talks about seeing in person. The way he's attacked the defense with no hesitation, the, the tough shots he's taken and made, just a masterpiece. When he gets it going, he can put up some big numbers. Here's Azania. I love the intensity dial up here from a defensive standpoint in the second half, doing a much better job. From the baseline, and it's Barnes getting it to go. Barnes has got 46 points. Just increasing their advantage, and right now they're in a zone on both ends. Oh, that's why you see them flexing a little bit. They're feeling good about how they've dominated. Oh, he caught him in stride with the lead pass. Now that was timing. And uh, the King shooting has been just uncontainable, 72%. Giles kicks to Bogdanovich. And the three off target. New York's gotten one of six three-pointers to drop since coming out of the locker room at halftime. And Bogdanovich picks up the foul. That's his first foul. And now only one away from being in the penalty. For the Knicks, Cornette's checked in, and Emmanuel Moutier subbed in for Allen. Moutier passed to Cornette. And here is his Onya. Fires the three. The rebound by Giles. Bogdanovich looking around. Drills the three-pointer. Bogdanovich has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Here's Moutier. Nine points in the game so far. Now the pass to Trier. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Uh, okay, we got a nice little back and forth going here. And I love it, Greg. Both sides inflicting damage from the perimeter. We'll see how the defense is adjusting. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Trier passes to Jordan. Some nice passing by New York here for three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Fires from the corner. Again, Sacramento. Passes like that help develop team chemistry. Bogdanovich, uh, I love the display of unselfishness. Moutier kicks to Hazania. Hits the front of the rim and out. Sacramento's gone three of six tonight when they've let it fly from downtown. Here's Barnes, and again, it's Sacramento converting. Look, he's driven him to this lead, and it doesn't look like he's going to ease up until the final whistle. Here's Trier. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Pass to Cornette. Let's the three fly. Rebound by Bialica. Bialica's got six rebounds in the game. Here's Barnes. That one misses. The Knicks go the other way with it. To the paint. They swipe it. It's Bialica. It's rebounded by New York. Hazania's got seven rebounds in the game. Here's Moutier. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Well, well look, his teammates are going to stop giving him the ball if he keeps taking shots like that. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Emmanuel Moutier picks one up. For Sacramento, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. Some changes for Sacramento. Corey Brewers checked in for Barnes. And Yogi Ferrell subbed in for Burks. Then for the Knicks, Robinson comes in for Jordan. And it's Knox in for Mario Hazonia. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And so it's New York with it. And here's Moody. Nine points in the game so far. And here are the numbers for Robinson. Since the All-Star break, he's been unstoppable, averaging 12 points and 10 rebounds. And what sets him apart is his rebounding. And as you can see, he's been in peak form. This last stretch, unbelievable tenacity going to the glass. It's been reflected in that stat sheet. Timeout called by the Kings. Ladies and gentlemen, your Kings game king.
get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. You take a look at the Warriors. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, Sacramento. Not really any threat right now as their record's showing a lot more losses. And checking out Sacramento, hanging where they are, right in the middle of the standings, will not make things easy for them down the stretch. But give them credit. They've got some really good pieces in place. The road ahead is it's going to be tough, of course, but I think they're in better shape than a lot of other teams. I, I like that pick play. I mean, you can see how easily it makes it for him to get to the cup. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. We've got a moment now to go to a rookie watch and find out who among the NBA's freshman class have been the hottest shooters. The fourth spot held by Marvin Bagley. And his confidence is going to keep growing if he continues shooting like he has over the past month. At the elbow, Moutier, 13 feet away. Tries again. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for Sacramento. They'll be matching up with Al Horford and the Boston Celtics. And then on Saturday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the New York Knicks. And for the matchup with the Celtics, it's going to be a battle for this group. You get the feeling they'll need to be at their sharpest if they want to come away with a victory. That one is off. Good on the second free throw. 144 left to play in the third. Here's Bogdanovich. Off target from outside. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. And Cornette gets it to go. Nice work to get in position for the rebound and the putback. He has no off switch. Sacramento again missing. And a fast break now for the Knicks. Looking to get back on track here. Second shot opportunity. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And still trying to find his footing in the league. Moutier must show improvement in his shooting moving forward. The Knicks shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. A free throw good from Moutier. Both free throws good from Moutier. Sacramento's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Farrell for three. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got rebound number seven for him tonight. To the middle. And Cornette gets it to go. Cornette's got nine. Hits the moving target with the lead pass. He made it look so easy. Farrell for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, that's a shot they'll be happy with on every trip, no matter who's taking it. 47 seconds left in the third quarter. Moutier, at the tip, controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Knox has got 27 points. Oh, hard work and soft hands, guys. That, that's what made that play possible. No simple offensive rebound there. Going for the tip in. Now here's Moutier. He's got 11. Passes it to Robinson. Here's Trier. He's covered by Bogdanovich. Cornette can't get it to go. 
The active defense making things very hard on him as he goes in for the layup. Brewer's shot is off. Here's Trier. The basket good off the assist from Moutier. Trier's got his second basket of the night. Here's Farrell. Harrison Barnes getting it done for Sacramento. This has been a remarkable game for him offensively. Anytime you get over the 40-point mark, it's been a special, special day. Back right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Yeah, he put it on the platter, and it was served cold. Now, I love the poise, the decisiveness. This is how you run an offense. One quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. The Knicks shooting 47%, pretty solid. Mason is out there with Farrell. Then it's Corey Brewer. Then there's Kufus, and it's Giles in at the four. So that's the five in the game for Sacramento. Brewer with the ball. Thomas is on him. Brewer, good. Brewer's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for Sacramento. Right side, Thomas. And then Thomas with the dunk. This guy is a high flyer. I mean, especially for a power forward, and he needs to be as an undersized player. Here's Farrell. Banked in off the glass. If you're going in amongst the trees, you have got to be aggressive. Well, look, when you're giving up that type of height, you use your quickness. It's just that simple. And it's also a matter of skill. Jenkins can't get it to go. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Farrell gets the bucket. And you can see it. They're in a nice rhythm in terms of shooting. It's been that way the entire second half. Yeah, they've come out of the break with an eye toward efficiency. One of the advantage they hold in this game. That one goes. Count it. Farrell's got six here in this quarter. And aggressive defense causing the mistake, then cashing in. What a beautiful steal off of great anticipation. His instincts right there were right on. Pass to Jenkins. Beyond the arc. The rebound by Giles. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Puts one up from 19. No good off the back of the rim. And so it's Moutier with it. He'll bring it up for New York. To the inside. Robinson, and it's Robinson with the jam. Oh, why dunk you very much. <laughs> he, he can really fly, and you combine that, Greg, with some nice penetration, too, and you've got two points. Thomas surveying the D. And, oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. See, Webb, I think of when you entered the league and how much the league has changed since your entry and your mind going back to your rookie year. I'm sure you can count many ways that the NBA has improved the game. Yeah, and the NBA to me has always been a step ahead. It's been a leader as far as where sports in general should go. I mean, we're truly a global game now. Just imagine where the game is going to be in 20 years. The growth of overall player salaries, the value of franchises, and to me, again, the biggest improvement has just been the evolution of players. It's been thanking a guy like Larry Bird, who was 6'9", shooting threes. And today we have Kevin Durant, seven foot shooting threes. It's, it's players getting better. The dribbling of Isaiah Thomas back in the Piston days to the dribbling of Curry, Kyrie, John Wall. Today, it's, it's the evolution of players to me that's been so exciting, along with the group growth of the league overall. Count that one. And that kind of sums up the defensive effort we've seen here tonight, guys. New York's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Jenkins the pass to Robinson. To the middle. Here's Allen. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. 
Robinson's got his third assist on the night. And you have to admire his focus. Not, not a good matchup for him in terms of size differential. Well, he has the ability to make some subtle adjustments. I mean, just, just create just enough space to get your shot off. Bucket is good. Oh, that's the goal every trip. Get the good look from close range. For Sacramento, they've gone 5 of 8 shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. And Allen with the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. And Sacramento has possession. Kept alive. Second chance shot. Down low. Got a piece of it. Scooped up. Yep, it counts. Oh, he just exploited the size mismatch, and he's getting easy looks tonight. And uh, the King shooting about 45% from the four in the fourth. Shots good from Mason. Mason's got four points this quarter. The Knicks shooting in the fourth quarter has been efficient at 56%. Inside, here's Allen. That's good. He's five for nine. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Brewer. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Oh, and, and Brewer has such terrific length, which he uses expertly down inside to bury shots. Inside, a slam dunk by Thomas. And he just elevates and powers in the one-handed. Mm -hmm. Textbook. Here's Mason. And the layup's good off the glass. Here's Jenkins. Nobody near Allen. No good on the triple. For Sacramento, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Farrell gets the bucket. I mean, he's been terrific from the field so far this half. I mean, driving his percentage through the roof. And Jenkins kicks to Vonley. Allen passes to Vonley. Now here's Jenkins. Some nice passing by New York here. It's good from long range. Time out, time out. And you're asking for more trouble than you can handle if you're going to let him just roam free from beyond the arc. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Well, yeah, he might have seen something he wants to exploit. Well, we'll see what they run coming out of this. Some changes for Sacramento. Bagley comes in for Harry Giles. And Alec Burks subbed in for Corey Brewer. And for Sacramento, they're shooting the ball with incredible accuracy. 68% so far. Here's Kufus and a good offensive board. And he gets the bucket. Defensive rebounding, just such a crucial part of the game. I, I tell you what, it's like football. Having a, a, a third and 13 and them running up the gut. Uh, it, it just frustrates the defense. You have to hate giving up second chance points. It's demoralizing. After basically, I mean, you had to stop. Goes to Kufus. Some call him 2K. Over 10 years now, hard to believe, of NBA experience. Wow, he's a quality player out of Greece. I mean, a quality role player. He knows his role. Rebound, defend, finish inside. Now, gentlemen, two shots. 
Who shots? He's off on the first. So he comes up empty at the line. Robinson with the block. Here's Allen. And the shot is long. Now Kufus over Robinson. Who's back up. And it's laid in by Bagley. And the dogged attitude of Bagley. When shots go up, he wants to be the first to pounce on misses. It's stolen by Bagley. And now Sacramento on the break. Burks leading the charge. That's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. New York's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Not often you see him take that shot. Thomas got nine points here in the second half. And defensively, you have got to extend to their shooters. They have been on fire this half. Yeah, they've been tremendous from beyond the arc. It's a shift from what they did in the first two quarters, though. Over in the corner, Allen. Offline with his three. And even though he's gone ice cold, he keeps shooting. I mean, it's late enough in the game for him to recognize uh, <laughs> there's some better options. And so Allen will bring it up for the Knicks. To the paint, here's Vonley, and the dunk by Vonley. Yes. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Bagley buries it down low. Bagley's got four this quarter. And a little mano imano. Bagley, unwilling to back down, forces the issue there and gets it to go. The shot by Vonley, no good. And for the Kings, they're shooting and hitting almost everything here in the fourth, up around 58% from the field. Count that bucket. That's not a possession they'll want to repeat. Despite the points, they got to get a better shot than that. And Jenkins kicks to Vonley. The pass to Allen. Thomas with the ball, guarded by Mason. Thomas's shot is off. And Sacramento has possession. Wing shot on the way. Kings power call. Frank Mason. That's the Kings making a switch here. Violets is checked in. And then for New York. Cornette's checked in. And it's Hazania in for Lance Thomas. The Knicks shooting 55% in the fourth. They are executing late. To the inside. Cornette gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. He's been a different player since halftime. Coming on strong now. On its way from Burks for two. Allen with the rebound. Allen's got four rebounds now tonight. For the three. That one's not going to go. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. And out of bounds as the Knicks gain possession. Uh, that, that's just a lack of communication. Two guys just not on the same page. The Knicks shooting 48% from the field. Not bad at all. To the middle. Here's Cornette. And he takes that one up and powers it through. Oh, you can't lay that pass in there any better. Here's Burks. They get it back. Gets it to go from eight feet. And you can see how this game is going. I mean, put a body on somebody. Man, this is what happens when you get discouraged. Sometimes it just affects every part of your game. Hazania, Knicks working now with a fresh shot clock. Allen, that's good. Allen's got six points in the quarter. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking jump shot. Gave a little pump fake and then off to the races. Here's Burks. Here's Kufus. And the rebound paying off as they pick up two on the second chance bucket right there. Now it appears an injury out on the floor, and that does not look like any fun. And I'll tell you, this is something you never like to see. 
Oh, man, come on. Injuries like this can change the course of a game, even the whole season. Our thoughts and prayers are with him. And New York making a change here. Moutier is checked in. Pass to Trier. And there's a nice one-handed slam. He just powered that one down. One of the game's top dunkers. Releases from 15. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Hazania's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Passes it to Cornette. Down low. And finish off by Hazonia. Oh, terrific pass work. That shot's a lot easier after an assist like that. Here's Burks. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Yeah, outstanding job there of taking the harm and still able to finish. Giles checked in for the Kings. Brewer comes in for Bagley. Shooting just one. One shot. Free throw good, Burks. And so it's New York with it. 158 left to play here in the fourth. It's the moving target with the lead pass. He made it look so easy. The King shooting with confidence. Wow, 66% from the floor. Mason for three. It's Bialica. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Well, uh, this is what he likes to do. Try to break your spirit. But yeah, I mean, you're already getting dogged out there. I mean, and now he's landing body blows. And Hazania gets it to go. 139 left in the game. Mason for three. The Knicks pull it in. Here's Moutier, and again, it's New York. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for the Kings. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And so checking out their record tonight, it'll mark win number 32 overall. And with the win approaching, they'll take the first game here of two that they'll play against this team. Nice to get that first one out of the way and set the tone. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Harrison Barnes. He affected the game so much with the way he was able to come out and get steals and extra possessions for his team. 43 seconds left to play in the final quarter. To the paint. Here's Bialica from 20 feet out. That one wide left. Yeah, that's just poor decision making. He's got to be better in those situations. I'd love to hear his explanation to coach right there. I mean, that should be an interesting conversation. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. They're ahead by 50. We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? You know, this is a timeout maybe just so they can pat each other on the back because no other reason to call it. No, uh, they're not going to take any chances. I mean, they're going to play it out until the final whistle, no matter what the score is. now to recognize our Jordan player of the game, Harrison Barnes. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection 
as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He'd finally had enough of their losing streak, and it's going to take something special to regain some kind of momentum. And his effort has been very special tonight. We've got 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Fox. Sacramento again missing. Another shot. A rebound by Hazania. Moutier with the ball. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. They poured it on tonight. Dominant showing in front of a crowd that loved every minute of it. And you know, this game could really be a defining one for what they can do when they are playing at their best. I mean, being here at home no doubt helps, and the execution was flawless. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. Here with Corey Brewer. Great job out there tonight. Seemed like the team was very cohesive. What's working? Um, you know, we play as a team. That's what we got to do to win games. And, um, you know, we're able to get up and down, play fast, and free flow basketball. When we're knocking down shots, we're a really good team. Corey, thanks for the time. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Chris Weber, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thank you for being with us. So long.